Hello. So in this section, we're actually going to be looking at the development of the ISO 9001, as well as its predecessors, and the first formal documented procedures, not for the actual quality of the product and specifications that go into the quality product, but the management of the quality. We'll look at the initial British standards of 5750 and how this was adopted and morphed into what we now know as the ISO 9001. We'll be looking at what's actually contained in the ISO 9001 and the eight sections that are needed to make up the standard, as well as the keys to success and the approval process. Finally, we'll have a look how the ISO 9001 can help your business to succeed, looking at specific problems all businesses face and how the ISO 9001 can help. So without further ado, let's get started.